gentlemen. Give me a second. Can somebody tell me? We're going to pause y'all for just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the software in the background is called MobiRise. And MobiRise is a web building software. Technically, for the most part, it's free. Uh, MobiRise.com. Are you advertising? For no, I'm not advertising for them. I don't like their game. You know, these websites where you purchase their product, but they want to put you on a subscription service so that they can continue to make money into the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know a bootleg MobiRise, but if you want to do a mod, you mod it. When you're looking for a software, just type in the name of the software and put mod at the end. Okay, especially for that on your cell phone. See, YouTube got mad at me because I told you guys how to download their videos. I am not going to tell you in this video to download SnapTube to download YouTube videos. Why would I do that? I do not want to violate YouTube's policies thinking that I don't have the right to put a video up on their network and then download it because it's my property. YouTube wants me to believe that because I upload it to their servers, I am giving them total control of my property. Apparently, they didn't read the fine print. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I always void out their contract always put in my conditional acceptance contract. Now, uh, the song I'm playing in the background that y'all heard at the beginning, when will we be paid for the work that we've done? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mabel Staples, Papa Staples, and the other Staple Singers. They're, they're saying, hey, we did all this work, we helped build this country, when are we going to get paid for the work that we've done? Look, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, Mabel. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something. I, I have a meeting that I have to get to in a moment. The company, that's the reason for I'm doing my doing this video. Uh, I need to take a break for a moment and explain something to everybody. I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I've been one of Jehovah's Witnesses all my life. Made my mistakes and tripped over my own feet so, so many times. But you want to know something? I was meant to be, and I shall remain forever, one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I am a baptized brother within the congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I fully, wholeheartedly, and honestly support that organization. Why? Because there's no other organization like it. Oh, mama, he trying to plug Jehovah's Witnesses. No, I'm not trying to plug Jehovah's Witnesses. What I'm trying to tell people is, there was a young lady I was talking to today, and I asked her, if you can find another organization that's teaching about Jehovah's kingdom, then I'll go with you. Gave her my word. So I said, let's go to Google right now. Where can I go to learn about Jehovah's kingdom? Because the kingdom is not God's kingdom. The kingdom is Jehovah's kingdom. Jesus says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. So he ain't talking to God. He's talking to his father. His father calls himself Jehovah. That's the God I serve. Well, there ain't no J in no Hebrew language. Well, look here, you ignorant, ignorant, and stupid, misguided people. There may not be a J in the Hebrew language, but there is a Y, i.e. Yahweh. That is the Hebrew pronunciation of the divine name. Other than that, you have the tetragrammaton, Y-H-W-H-J-H-V-H. Just because you haven't done your research, just because you rely on what people told you, that's on you. I, that ain't got nothing to do with me. So getting back to the point that I'm trying to make, ladies and gentlemen, as I sit here, I don't take sides in political debates. But I will tell you the legal debate. I read a case where two women were going after a corporation who was still in existence, and they participated in the slave trade. And this corporation made its beginning, its living off of slave labor. They were trying to sue them this many years later for their continual participation. The Supreme Court of the United States said that the young ladies did not show a nexus between them and that company. Oops. Young ladies, all you had to do was show 
that the Ancestry.com history. So all you got to do is go to Ancestry.com, prove that they controlled that area at the time and that the records show that's your ancestry. And because of your ancestry making them slaves, prohibiting them from reading and writing, that they could not earn a living. In other words, they were denied the right to live by making them slaves. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys want to go for reparations? Then put together the lawsuit. But don't just put together any suit. Put together the lawsuit. Don't go after, <laughs> you guys are going after the wrong people. You should be going after Britain, where you can use the European Union to hear the case. Because remember, the slave trade came from Britain. They didn't come from America. These weren't business owners in America. They brought that over here. Sorry, somebody, somebody is trying to call me. Give me a second, please, ladies and gentlemen, so I can find out. Ladies and gentlemen, before I get back to talking about my reparations and so forth and talking about my staple singers, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and explain what I was attempting to explain earlier. Did you hear what she said? They fought in the wars. The problem is if you go against the system through Britain, because that's where the slave trade started, or against Spain, because they actively participated in the slave trade, then you have countries you can hold liable for the slave trade. And you can hold the United States liable because the United States made it legal. The Supreme Court even holding that men of color were only two-thirds, one-fifth, 18 14th of a man. Okay? That's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, go after the country. The country is not sovereign when they violate international law. Slavery and in international law at that time was unlawful. In the United States, did you not know that slavery was unlawful? Go back and look at the Northwest Ordinance. They knew that. Involuntary servitude has been against the law in the United States from the very beginning. The 13th Amendment did not create nothing. They added the 13th Amendment to appease you people. Now, like I said, that's my 10 cents on that. Can't get involved because it don't have nothing to do with me. Okay? I would never have marched in any of those marches. I would not have marched with Black Lives Matter or George Floyd or anybody else. Why? Because I trust that Jehovah is going to take care of everything just as he's promised. He did promise that we were going to have to go through these things. He did promise that through his son that there was going to be pestilence and earthquakes and wars and rumors of wars and so on and so forth. These are things he told us it was going to happen. So how can I complain when it was foretold that these things were going to take place? Ladies and gentlemen, I, um, this is Phyllis Hyman. She's singing As You Are, and I'm going to let it play in my background because I wanted to tell you guys about the organization that we've started. It's called Amer Legion. The website will be up sometime this week. Amer Legion, you guys remember what I told you I did with four companies as of late? I haven't followed through on the other two. They got my message, and each time I got a response. Not a negative response, a positive response. Not a single time that anybody said, no, you go ahead and do what you do, homie. You know, not a, I wish they would. You have no idea how much I wish they would have. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how things work. I basically... And putting together an organization, they're going to do a power of attorney and a notice on the same document. Now, our clients are going to have to sign a power of attorney online via notary. And then one of our staff members are going to sign on behalf of the organization. And then we're going to go to the different organizations and the company to get proof and documentation of what's necessary. That's what we're going to do for you. And we're going to give you a copy of everything we receive. The only thing we will not give you a copy of is our communication. Okay? And you will sign an agreement to that effect. You will get a copy of the limited power of attorney. We will never do a general power of attorney with no one. You guys know my policy. There's no way in the world I will let you ever give me full power and control over anything. Ever. I don't believe that that's fair. I don't believe that that's ever been right. I don't think that nobody should give anybody complete control over themselves 
That's slavery. Don't you understand? I, I don't approve of it. I don't appreciate it. No, there ain't no reason for anybody to be dealing with slavery and be volunteering to be a slave. Yes, 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 yes. We know that it's legal to volunteer to be a slave, but why would you do that? Okay? Why would you why would you do that? Why would you participate in all of that stupidity? Huh? That makes no sense to me. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is a program I just downloaded the update, and I just need to make sure I'm up to date. Okay. Whew. All right. The agreement that we have, ladies and gentlemen, that we're putting together, the uh, power of attorney, the limited power of attorney, that document also has an arbitration clause associated with it. Remember, I, sorry, you're dealing with our organization from now on. There's going to be an arbitration clause associated with everything. Why? Why an arbitration clause? Because we're trying to make things as fair as possible. As fair as possible. Y'all give me a second. I have to step on over here. Because I got some Hashimi Browns. And my Hashimi Browns are over here hashing and browning. And I need me some hash browns. Okay. Basically, the process is this. Some of you guys are going to try to duplicate it, but you're not going to have all of the information, nor are you going to know who to write to. And we're not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, first of all, go back and look at IRS tax topic 453. Note, note what it says is necessary. Now, that's coming from the regulation 166. Okay, that's where it's coming from. So their regs 166 is where you see topic 453. Notice the part, go down, I think it's like the last two paragraphs where it says you do not have to go to court as long as it's a valid debt. Well, what constitutes as a valid debt? Just because you think it's a valid debt makes it a valid? No. It has to be a legitimate, a legitimate claim. Okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, our document, we're going to be coming at them a different way. Now, we know that many people are going to try to duplicate the document, which is why the power of attorney is not the document. That's just stating what we're going to do. That's just going to be letting them know what's coming next. So it references the fact that they'll be receiving other communications. You will not be getting a copy of those communications. Why? Because I'm tired of people taking what we do and not even changing it. I mean, not even creating no new uh, way of doing things, just copying exactly what we do and thinking that they know what we're doing. No, we're not playing that game no more. I refuse. I refuse. So, ladies and gentlemen, two things so that you all get it. The organization we're putting together, nobody else is doing this for you. Many of you guys got so many debts against banks and against other organizations that have taken money from you that claim you owe the debt where you know you didn't owe a debt. We're not going to base it based on, well, my signature. No, we're not going to do any of that, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to do that, my signature stuff. We're going to do that. Okay, you're saying I owe a debt. There is no money. So where is this debt alleged? And where is the factual accounting? We already shown you guys that there should be a certified financial statement associated with every claim of debt. Somebody should be certifying the accounting. I, you don't take nobody's word for nothing. Look, I've been having two companies do the debt for me. Hold on one second. Got to go back and turn the fire off because my, my hashies are brownie and they're ready. So I turn the fire off so that when I finally eat it and it's hot. Oh God, it tastes so good. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, many of you guys are taking people's word for it that you owe a debt. I got two companies. One of them is Walmart. I do a lot of shopping through Walmart and Amazon. And they're supposed to be returning items. Now, I do a lot of returns with Amazon, at least 30 a month, because I'm ordering at least 60 items a month through Amazon. Well, those 30 items, a couple of them get lost here and there. I don't receive that accounting, and they try to offset it because they be giving me credits and everything. They owe me some credits even now, and I ain't finished with Amazon. Okay. How do you get back at companies like that? They have so much power and they can weigh you out because, man, let me tell you something. 
They can sit up there and get you one attorney, another attorney, procedure after procedure, and, oh, you got to put that in writing. I've always told every company who told me I have to put it in writing, no, 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 hold on, wait, whoa, whoa, what is wrong with you? You don't want to go there. You don't want to tell me to put something in writing because once I put something in writing, I'm going to have to charge you for that. Uh, no, you don't want me to put something in writing because my legal fees is $1,295 per hour. You don't want me to put something in writing because it will probably take me at least 40 hours to do the research to put together the proper communication. And then that will increase the amount. No, you don't want me to put something in writing because at that point, there is no stopping or no turning back. That's my usual response. This is Luther Vandross, and he's talking about what he wonders about. He says, I wonder. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, I'm just letting them know, hey, guys, the IRS says that I can do this, and so this is what I'm going to do. And go back and watch the video and see exactly what I did. Okay, that's what I've been doing. I told you guys I'm in the business of collecting debt. Go back. That's my business now. And that's what I do for a living is I collect debt. What do you mean you collect debt? You do that for a living? That means you work? No. That means that I have claims against company that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And we settle which cannot be counted as income. See, ladies and gentlemen, personal goods, household goods, consumer goods, not meant for profit and or for gain, cannot be constituted as taxable income. Everybody wants to say income after taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, my income is not after taxes, or excuse me, my income is way before taxes. You can't tax me on my income and I won't let you. And I dare anybody to claim that they can. I dare anybody to claim that they can tax me on my income. I don't work, first of all. But if I did work, I dare anybody to claim they could tax me on my income from my labor. Too many cases say you can't do it. So I ain't got time to be playing these games with these organizations. So what? They claim to be government. The moment they violate a constitutional right, they're no longer government. Did you not know that the United States government cannot violate a secured right? You guys are going to do your research. You've got to see that the Constitution is a charter. The Constitution is not. It is not a law. It's a charter. That's why it only secures your rights. It only tells the government. It's a government charter. It only tells the government what they can and cannot do. Don't believe me? Go type in Google the government. Uh, Constitution is a charter. The Constitution is a charter. Then look up the definition for a charter. Okay, stop talking about your constitutional rights. You don't have any constitutional rights. What you have are secured rights. That's what I said. You heard me. Secu you heard me. Secured rights. All right? Mm -hmm. Master P, sounds like a... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to say y'all take care. I got a meeting to go to. I just want to deliver this information. Hopefully. It will benefit some. Gotta go. Take care. Adios. Arrivederci.